Greetings everyone, uh, this is a quick YouTube clip to talk more about Google's new product they released um, publicly today, the Google Correlate. Um, so what this pretty much allows you to do is find searches actually correlate with obviously Google's suggestions and Google's search queries, but also you can import your own data. Um, so I'll flick through sort of a couple examples. Um, one is you can see the types of search queries that actually correlate around the term winter. Um, obviously you can shift the, the series of data um, forward or back um, to see how this impacts. So you can look if you want to play in your campaign forward. Um, you know, if you want to buy traffic you know, in five weeks time, these are the types of most correlated searches um, you should be targeting. Um, so it's good for if you're doing keyword research for a new campaign or a new client and don't understand too much how the seasonal um, shift might affect your website um, traffic and what sorts of content you should be looking at creating if you want, I guess, longer um, longer tail traffic. Um, one of the examples that Google actually um, links up is um, the correlations for the term mittens. Um, so you can see here, you can, um, obviously flick through and see the related search terms. And the guys over at SEO Optimize in the UK did a blog post on it today, Mr. Tab Chef. Um, and he's talking very much about how you can use it for keyword research. Um, so again, there's a lot of, I guess, potential um, with this product. And it's a vast improvement on the Google Insight for Search, its previous platform, which was a bit of hit and miss. Um, sometimes you wouldn't have enough data. And also you didn't have the ability to import your own data. Um, the final cool thing about the new platform, obviously you have to be signed to do this, um, you can actually draw curves. So if you've got data and try and match it to some real world data, um, you can actually draw it in here and see what I guess, search queries that actually correlates to. Obviously a very bad drawer, um, but you can start to see, you know, here's some of the suggestions there. Um, again, we can go back and try stuff, try and get a little bit of a bell curve kind of thing. And again here you can start to see some sort of that old kind of the AOL traffic. Um, so yeah, it's definitely worth something to play around with, um, have a bit of fun, and you also see what types of real world search terms also had a uh, similar kind of um, growth pattern as that. Um, so yeah, it's, it's good for putting, I guess, your data into context of real world data and you can see these are the types of search queries that actually had a similar um, um, web search pattern. Obviously all this data is currently for the US only, um, but it will likely be rolled out internationally. Thank you.